everyone! I thought it would be fun today to give you guys a walking update! Oh, hello! <laughs> As most of you know, if you've been following along, Soka has had a notorious history of pulling. And not only does it hurt her trachea and esophagus, and I hear her wheeze and coughing, it is just very damaging on that. <laughs> My gosh, you guys are in the way. So I thought I would kind of go over what we got them, including Xana, because she also pulls as well and that's not good on their throat so what do we do to fix that problem basically in short we have tried like um oh gosh we've tried like the tightening collars we tried the uh let me let me just move it so you can see them playing we've also tried the collars where um oh gosh what's it called like a harness a harness like a no pull harness we've tried so many different things and it just doesn't work i've tried even doing like different training along with those from throwing treats behind me to like getting their focus it just it's not good oh my goodness you're so excited <laughs> she's very vocal when she likes to play so anyway let me show you guys what we got this is a harness uh it goes on the face so it's a head uh harness kind of a thing and it works amazingly like i no longer have to hear our dogs wheezing and hurting when they're um walking as well as this clips onto the collar so if they do happen to get this off boom it's still attached to the collar and i also Zan is tiny enough that Soka's old one from a puppy ends up fitting her. So we have this one for her. And the nice thing is her collar is very like, well, it's pretty lean size, like this, like, you know, a hoop. And I'll also, it doesn't have like a specific clip, but I'll still be able to clip the leash around this and her collar. So it works really, really well. And I kind of wanted to like show you guys like, how well it works so oh, it's amazing but these are the two head colors that we have and it has saved my ears from the pain of them choking themselves when they walk so i'm really glad about all of that Zana's here i guess this will be a perfect opportunity to show you guys oh, oh, there we go actually wait i need to grab the treats it really helps now that i am armed with treats this will go much more smoother I find they don't exactly like the thing on their face, but when you start walking, it, it distracts them. And same with the treats too. So here we go. And it is so easy to put on some like friggin' harnesses. It's like, how do I even put this on? And then let me see, treat time, just while she's focused. Oh, you're sitting. Good girl. And so there we go, easy peasy. And now Xana has her collar on and she won't choke herself. Let me uh, bring Soka over here. Come here, Soka, come here. Let me get this off of you now. Easy to come off too. Soka, come here. I wanna show, putting on your collar. Come here, come here. There we go. And then easy peasy to just clip. And whoops, her fur sometimes clips onto the thing with her. There we go. As well as you can never be too safe. And boom. And then lastly, we give a treat. Soka, come here. There we go. Good girl. And those are their two uh, collars. Let me show you how easy it is to walk. Oh, wait, I, I should re-put on Xana's as I also am going to want to double walk because I'm the one that usually walks the dogs um, since the hubby now has a job, which is super exciting. And so I have, I usually double walk. He'll help me in the evening, but um, that's usually what we do. So I had to try walking double dogs and this has made it so much easier for me. Okay, come on. Let me just adjust the camera here. Okay, hopefully this works. Um, but uh, yeah, a little awkward, but it'll work. So I just like to keep them close to me and then you can walk back and forth. 
Dang it, I wish the couch. Yeah. Hold up. Alright, so a couple adjustments. Uh, there we go, the camera looks way better. But this makes it notoriously easier for me to walk these two. So I'll just like kind of hold them close. And then I can actually like, come on, come on. Can actually walk them around. Come on. Like, look at that. There's no pulling. Come on. And there's no struggling. It's absolutely incredible. So come on, I'll give you guys another treat. And lots of treats too, I find, are, uh, are important. Sit. Give the treat. Sit. And give the treat. And then I will clip off the collars. Clip off the collars. Okay, you did good. I know. You're trying to eat the treat. There we go. And then Soka, come here. Lastly, clip off from the collar. And as well clip off from the collar. This is absolutely amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. Controlling the dog's head is where it's at. Otherwise, it's just, it's so hard with pulling dogs. So I cannot recommend this enough. It's amazing. And they can actually get walked and it's good. It's very good. He's back where they belong and boom, always ready to go on beautiful walks. Right guys? So much better. And once again, like I just cannot stress enough how enjoyable it is to now go on walks since having those proper collars. It definitely took a while to find the right one, but in the end it was definitely worth it. And I'm so glad Soka's old head collar fit Xana, cause you also need it. Now this is gonna be hard for you guys, but Xana said, to have, oh my gosh, not come to the camera. <gasps> Xana, sit. Come on, sit. Soka, sit. You're going to need to stay. Now stay. Ah, you're going to stay. Okay. Oh, God. Poor puppies. I, I should have put two down. Okay, one for you and one for you. Just also working on more impulse control. No, no, you can't get the treats. You're going to need to sit. Lay down. Going to stay. <laughs> Look at their noses. Stay. Going to stay. Going to stay. We're gonna raise the stakes a little bit more. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad. <laughs> At least I, you got one. Soka. Yeah, this is why you can never have too much impulse control. You're supposed to be the pro here. No, not shake a paw. Okay, now you need to sit. You're gonna lay down. I have to put both of these down. No, I have to put both of them down. I know. I know. Lay down, Soka. You have to stay and stay. You cannot go till I say, gonna stay. Oh, she stopped herself there. Gonna stay. Now I'm gonna inch it a little closer. Stay. Stay. Okay, that was beautiful. There we go. All the fun stuff for you guys. I don't I don't have any more. They're in that silver thing. I, I don't have any more in my hand. You guys ate them all. Try that one more time because you kind of just rushed in, Missy. Let me grab a couple more treats. Yeah. Okay, sit. Zan is already doing it. Okay, lay down. Okay, gonna stay. Ah, don't do it. Don't do it, Soka. Ah, sit. Okay, we're gonna actually place it here and here.
There we go. Yep, just focus. Good girl. Yeah, go. Go get it. Here. No, you don't you don't get to eat both of them. I rescued this. This one's for Xana. <laughs> there we go. Soka, you're so just greedy and taking all the treats. Why? Oh shoot, I, I gotta cover that. You would eat all of these, wouldn't you? You would eat all of them. Yeah, I know you can smell them in there. <laughs> Well, you guys did way better on this exercise this time around. Good, good. Some fun after all that walking stuff, eh? Now it is time for the ultimate test. I'm going to leave a couple treats by themselves. I'm going to ask the dogs to just stay. Let's see if they'll just stay. We'll see if they leave the treat alone till I come back. Let's try it. I'm going to be leaving this treat. We got a couple practice rounds in earlier. So can you sit? I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna lay down. Okay, now I'm gonna leave this here. I'm gonna leave two of them, one for each of you. And I'm just gonna go into another room. So you stay, huh? You stay, you sit. No, 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 you sit. <laughs> no! Let's try that again. Take two. That was that was brutal. Okay, you know what? Let's let's try it again. Instead of going that way, I'll go this way. Okay, Xana, sit. Come on, sit. Lay down. Come on, you guys know this. Sit. The most basic of commands. You sit that body down. Okay. And you guys are going to stay. Better stay. Better be staying. Oh my goodness, you did it! You did it, Zana. Here's a treat too. You guys did it. I'm impressed. I literally just held the camera. They they left the treat alone. I kind of poked it around so you guys could see what they would do. But, oh my goodness, that was amazing. I guess the practice does work. All the impulse control. Right. And finally, we come to kind of the last thing I've been having a lot of fun working on with these two. And that is the focus command. So I've seen a lot of people do this. And it's basically you hold the treats, you get your dog to focus, make eye contact, and then you'll like click her to like mark that good behavior. And it's just really good because on walks we've been doing this especially because there's lots of distractions out there and you really want to make sure the dog can always like come back and focus on you. So here we go. Let's try it. Focus. Good girl. Do you see how they just like stopped? And we're watching. That was very good. Let's try it again. Focus. Wow, she's like so focused. Her bum is like leaning down. Okay, Soka, focus. Good girl. So it's just really good. And you want to make sure you hold the treats here so that they'll always like make the eye contact with you. And like I said, especially on walks. I'll be walking them and then we'll say focus, especially when there's like a car driving past and stuff. And it definitely makes a big difference. Keeps your pup safe and really helps them always like focus in on you. So it's really good. And the clicker helps mark that good behavior too that we always want. And I think that kind of brings us, oh my gosh, you're always in the camera, you guys. So I think at the end of the day, kind of the point of like with the walks, and then these two with all that impulse and stays, especially with having like new dog and just, you can never get enough of the impulse control. Oh my gosh, you're gonna knock over my camera. But yeah, you can never have enough impulse control and just it keeps them safe, they'll listen to you. And that's kind of what we've been really working on lately, just even turning them into fun games to get a treat. So that's kind of what we've been doing and it's really helped with the walk. Like I cannot express enough what the walk has been like now. 
So it's been really, really good. Completely different from when Soka was just pulling and choking herself. And even Xana was also really choking herself. So 10 out of 10 recommend that type of harness if your dog really likes to pull as well as, uh, yeah, just working on all the impulse. It works really well and it really helps you get control of your dog when you need it because there's so many distractions. So 10 out of 10 for that. And I hope I'll get to see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Soka and Zan are just playing. Are you guys gonna say thanks for watching? Yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh my gosh, I have to hit the stop button, you guys. Ah! Oh my. Doggo attack much? Bye.